So a couple of weeks ago, Gran Turismo got an update that introduced three new cars. One of them was this Group 4 version of the Mazda 3. And after using this car for a bit, I can safely say that it completely breaks its class on certain tracks. And today, I'll show you what I mean using one of my recent races with this car as an example. Which was also my best race in B tier yet. So yeah, enjoy. So getting into this race, unfortunately I didn't record any live commentary because I was just playing for fun when this race occurred. So I qualified on pole position because I am a professional like that. And my goal at the start was to just not lose a position. So I drove really defensive into the first chicane. And you can't really see the strengths of this car yet, but that'll come in just a bit. By the way, if you are new to the channel, my name is Gamefish and this video is part of my road to becoming an A-tier driver in Gran Turismo 7. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to leave a like. So as we're getting to this corner, the Ferrari is right alongside or just a bit behind. And he is getting in my slipstream now that we are on the straight. But if you look at the timing, you can actually see that the driver in the Ferrari isn't gaining anything. In fact, he is losing time compared to me. So there you can see that this car really, really shines on the straights in terms of acceleration and top speed. So now into the cornery section, I'm losing a little bit of time because, well, frankly, I really wasn't driving all too well here. Might also be that the Ferrari just has some better cornering ability compared to this car and that this is more of a car for top speeds and, as I said, acceleration. But yeah, the Ferrari gained quite a bit. So coming into this last cornery section before we get onto the final straight, I am not doing this really well because I did not maximize my exit speed. So the Ferrari is right alongside me at this point, even though it has a inferior top speed compared to my car. But because I outbreak him, I can park the car on the apex here and do that as well at the other part of the chicane. So now we are still in first place after lap one. So I'm switching to this camera really quick to show you something else because here the Ferrari behind gets overtaken by another Mazda 3. And once they get to the straight here, you can see that the Ferrari is once again in the slipstream of the Mazda. And I need you to take a look at the gap that is in between the two cars now. Because, I mean, it's not that much. So you would think that the Ferrari would be able to overtake the Mazda on the straight. But as you can see, once we get to the end, the gap between the two cars is pretty much the same as it was before they got on the straight. So you can definitely see that the top speed of the Mazda is incredible compared to the Ferrari but the Ferrari might have some better corner ability once again because here he makes a fantastic move on the Mazda getting back into P2. Now we're switching to lap 4 because on lap 3 nothing really interesting happened and I can't really show anything about this car but you can see here once we get onto the straight once again if you look at the gap between me and the guy in the Ferrari behind it is a little over 8 tenths now and as you can see here, I start gaining time. And once we get closer to the end of the straight, it keeps increasing and increasing. And I almost get two tenths of time just by driving on the straight. So yeah, that further accentuates how good this car is in a straight line. So into the final couple of corners here, I actually managed to do the quarter section pretty well. Now we are on the final straight going at a nice speed onto the finish line. And once we cross it, we set the fastest lap, which meant that I pretty much did the perfect race. Pole position, fastest lap, clean race. This pretty much could not have gone any better. Pretty neat for my first B tier win, believe it or not. So my final verdict on this car, it is great on acceleration and top speed. It has decent cornering ability. Simply put, it's just a fantastic car. So go use this one for your next race because I promise you, you will not regret it.